So she just broke the, the truck window. What's your date of birth? Why do I have to give you my name? But I need your ID, your name and your, either your ID or your date of birth. No, I don't feel like I need to give it to you. I have you rights, right? So you can go to okay, jail. Okay, it's first supporter and it's 1985, March 6, 1985. Thank you. 현재 시간 2월 17일 금요일 오전 7시 새벽 내내 무단 주차한 트럭을 기다리다 못해 견인 차량을 불렀습니다. 17번 방에서 며칠 내내 방문객들이 너무 많았고 특히 새벽에 주차를 이상하게 하는 차들이 많아서 오늘 안 그래도 11시 체크아웃 시간에 쫓아내려고 했는데 제가 자고 있을 때 17번 방을 방문했던 저 트럭이 분명히 노파킹이라고 크게 써놨는데도 새벽 내내 주차하면 안될 곳에 주차를 해놓고 계속 차를 빼달라고 얘기해도 무시하고 있었습니다. 그러다가 견인차가 오자 갑자기 소리를 지르며 막아서는 여성. Well, you cannot make me stop because it's not your truck, right? It's my truck, yes. <laughs> yeah, just park the drive away, and uh, I told them to move uh, two hours before. It's a female. It's a, she's uh, white. I think 40. Broke the the truck. The window now. Now I hear the alarm sound. She she's leaving. Look like I'm I'm watching. She's not leaving yet. She's uh, start, just started the driving. The black Chevrolet Avalanche. Um. It's a C21558Y. Nanya, she just parked on another spot. 미국에서는 사유지에 불법 주차를 하면 견인 차량을 불러 견인해 갈수 있습니다. 저는 지난 6년 동안 20여 대가 넘는 차량을 견인시켰으며 미국에서 견인 차량을 부르면 저는 돈을 내지 않아도 되지만 저 차량 주인이 다시 차를 되찾고 싶을 때 지불해야 되는 돈은 적게는 100불 정도에서 많게는 몇백 불을 지불해야 합니다. 기간이 오래될수록 돈을 더 많이 지불해야 하죠. 한국에서는 현행법상으로 사유지에 주차하는 외부 차량에 대한 구체적인 법률이 현재 마련되어 있지 않은데요. 도로가 아닌 사유지의 경우에는 불법 주차에 해당되지 않아 곤란한 상황이 생길 수 있습니다. 하지만 미국에서는 사유지에 불법 주차를 할 경우 언제든 견인을 요청할 수 있고 견인하는 동안 차량이 손상이 되어도 사유지 주인에게 책임을 묻지 않습니다. 다만 견인업체 단한 곳이랑만 계약을 할수 있으며 다른 견인업체를 부를 경우 상호 계약이 되어 있지 않아 견인을 해주지 않습니다. 그동안 수없이 저희 모텔에 불법 주차한 차량들이 견인되어 갔지만 이렇게 견인 차량이 왔을 때 몸으로 막아서며 창문까지 깨버리는 사람은 오늘 처음 봤기 때문에 오랜만에 적지 않게 당황을 했습니다. 우선 경찰을 기다리는 상태에서 오랫동안 기다리고 있던 견인 차량 기사에게 사과를 하고 보낼 수밖에 없었습니다. This situation is usually happening? All the time. All the time? All the time. Oh. So, anyway, hey, anyway, I want the vehicle is leaving now. Here is no parking. You don't see it? No parking. Yeah, okay, and I just moved it, though. Like, I just moved it. I already called the cops and towing company, and now you're moving, huh? Yeah, I had to break my window. Do you see what I had to do to get in my car? And you're yelling at me because I had to break my own window? Then fucking get out of here, and now you're yelling at me? You are yelling at me, too, first. Hey, because of you, hey, room 17, tell them check out by 11. No, I'm leaving, sir. It doesn't matter. You made the trouble here. I'm not causing any problems here. You made already problem here. Problems already. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. I'm sorry about that, but. You're good. Yeah, but many times uh, when I call your company, this is the first time like this. Usually. It's you know, quick. Yeah, it's a quake and... No, you're good. Yeah, I'm sorry about you, make, make you wasting your time. You're good. Call back if they don't leave. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Right. Thank you for coming, officer. Uh, she broke the, the truck window and uh, grabbed the key inside and uh, drove from there to here. Who's, whose car is this? I, I, I have no idea. Okay, so I actually parked in, in, in the no parking, okay? I locked the keys in the freaking truck last night. I literally just had to break my back window to get it in. It, to get in it. Are you it I'm not. My boyfriend is. He, can I just leave, please?
Okay. What's your date of birth? Why do I have to give you my name? But I need your ID, your name, and your, either your ID or your date of birth. No, I don't feel like I need to give it to you. I have you rights, do. right? So you can go to okay, jail. Okay, it's first supporter, and it's 1985, March 6, 1985. Thank you. Are they guests here? No, I haven't seen them before. The first time I saw her here. Okay. That's for now, yeah, because we don't want people to wake up because of her here. So, uh, this is the owner of the property. He's basically trespassing you. You can't come back on the property you're going to get to, okay? Okay. Yeah, don't come back. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. It's always something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to maybe kick them out at 11 o'clock today because uh, I think she visited that room. We don't want she co keep coming for the room, so. So, uh, let me talk to you real quick. Yes. Uh, you might want to keep a closer eye on your clientele. Okay. Because if that continues to happen and we have lots and lots of enforcement action here, mm -hmm. right, then they're going to... Maybe Your business license like they did. Well, right like there. like next door. Yeah. Okay. So the, they, good, they, good to know. All the people in and out of rooms here all day. I've oh. sat across the street and watched for a while. So. Oh, okay. I don't want you to lose your business. Yeah, your business sure. License, so you may need to keep a tighter rein on what's happening here. Okay. Yeah, thank you for the warning. We're gonna keep this business to make it better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys have been fantastic, and you're awesome owners. I just don't want to see other people take advantage of you. Okay. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. 저는 오늘 경찰이 의심하고 경고했던 17번 방을 11시에 체크아웃 시켰고 최근 방문객이 많았던 방두 개를 더 내쫓았습니다. 오늘도 저는 모텔 입구를 막고 불법 주차를 하는 차들을 내보내고 있으며 오늘 밤은 평안한 밤이 되기를 기도해 봅니다. 여러분들도 오늘 하루 평안하시길 바라며 구독과 좋아요는 영상 제작에 큰 힘이 됩니다. 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다.